Hey guys, Jim here, coming back with another video. Today I have a variety of different things I wanna share with you guys. I'm gonna start right off with a contest win that I received from uh, Steve Speaks here on YouTube. Steve was doing a contest uh, several weeks back and I was lucky enough to be the winner. And um, I'll start off by reading the note that he sent. He said, hey Jim, this is Steven from Steve Speaks YouTube. Wanted to say that I really enjoy watching your content and appreciate the support you show my channel and many others. Secondly, congrats on the win. I hope you enjoy the cards. The box auto was signed and returned TTM. Thanks again for all the support, Steven. Well, thank you, Steven. That was very nice, very nice of you. And um, I really enjoy your channel as well. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with Steve Speaks here on YouTube. Uh, he does a great job with his videos. He does uh, a lot of research into them and uh, they are very informative. And he also is a huge supporter here in the YouTube community. I see him all over the place on everyone's videos. So um, just in case you're not familiar with Steve Speaks, I will leave a link to his channel in the description of this video. Go check him out. I'm sure you'll like what you see. Anyway, so I, it was a one card win and um, I had my choice of cards and my Wanda Franco PC is very lacking. So I chose this very beautiful rated prospect Wanda Franco. And this, I believe they call this the purple fireworks variation. Um, just an awesome looking card. It is not numbered, but um, a very, very nice looking card. And so there's that. And of course, Steven being the generous guy that he is, um, included a bunch of other cards here as well. And also sent this very beautiful 2015 Donruss Albert Pujols Dominator card. That's just such a sick card. Look at the shine on that thing. And yeah, that's numbered to 499. And Steven knows that I'm a big uh, Raphael Devers fan so he sent me a few Raphael Devers rookie cards. The Bowman, 2018 Bowman, Raphael Devers. And the first Bowman, Devers, very nice. And this card here is a, I don't know what, what it is, it's a Topps. I'm not sure what set. It's numbered to 50, but it's just like, it's like um, almost like the Topps Tech, where you can see through. It's just got an awesome, funky design to it. It's a, a very, very nice looking card. I uh, really like that one. And also received the Xander Bogarts rookie card. Very nice. Bogarts is a, another one of my favorite players. And Christian Yelich rookie card. Would love to see Yelich. I'm not sure what the heck's going on with him, but he would love to see him get back to his old form. I can't believe how far he's fallen. Anyway, still happy to have his rookie card there, and I'm sure he'll be back at some point to the player he should be. And this is the Wade Boggs auto that he was talking about in the note there. Uh, I guess apparently this was received TTM. I know Boggs is a big TTM signer, and I'm really happy to have a... Uh, this all-star card with Boggs' autograph on it. Um, I'm not really a huge autograph fan, but, <clears throat> you know, Boggs was one of my favorite players when I was a kid, and i um, thrilled to have a, an autograph card of his. So uh, thank you so much, Stephen. That was just a great little package there and um, some just awesome cards, and I really appreciate it. So again, I'll leave the link in the description. If you want, guys want to go check him out, if you're not familiar, go on and do that. So next up, I'm going to move on. Um, a while back, I had purchased a Nolan Ryan. Um, this was like, um, I, I called it an index card. They call it a photo here, it, it, whatever it is. I purchased this, it was raw, and um, got Nolan Ryan's signature there, right on the card, very nice and prominent. And um, I definitely wanted to have this authenticated and slabbed. And so I contacted Brandon Stebbins here on YouTube, uh, another great YouTuber. And uh, he does Beckett 
autograph authentication submissions. And so I contacted Brandon. I sent this card out to him and I got this back this past week and it is slabbed and authenticated and it just looks awesome in the slab. Really happy I, I did that. It'll be, it'll be, I'll be able to nicely display it too, like this in the slab. But um, yeah, it looks great. Brandon, I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description as well. Uh, Brandon does a great job with these submissions and um, I highly recommend if anybody has any autographs they want authenticated, um, I would highly recommend you to contact him. He's a, a really nice guy and he, he, he really does a good job, but he did a great job. I was really happy with that. And um, so I wanna thank Brandon for that and just love that. Nolan Ryan card came out great. Next up, I've got this EDU Cards baseball card game, it's called. And this is a baseball card game from 1957. <clears throat> and I found this at an antique shop and it was four bucks. So for four bucks, I could not pass it up. And so just the box alone is just awesome looking. You can see there. And so this is exactly what it says. It's a baseball card game. And I've got all the cards. And these are the cards, these are the backs. And I'll show you the different cards that you can get. These are the different cards that are in there. And so this is a game that you can play anywhere from two to nine people. And you play it just the same way you, you go by the rules of a baseball game. I just think these are really cool. I like the colors. I like the artwork. And I like the idea of the baseball card game. There's the triple. There's the home run. Stolen base. Hit by pitcher. That's cool, I like that. Okay, again, plunked. We've got a balk, a foul ball, a foul out, and a fly out. So those are the different cards that are there. And it also came with this. And so you just use this like as your, your playing board and, and you just follow along. And so all you do is you shuffle up the cards real good. You shuffle them up. And the first player goes, and he flips cards until he either gets a walk or an out or a hit, some type of a hit. So then, you know, he would get a single, you'd mark it down on the board, then the next guy would go, and so on. And like I said, they can play anywhere from two players all the way up to nine players. And so it was pretty cool to find this, and for $4, I couldn't pass it up. And the great thing is it's got the paper with it with the instructions, and it actually says... At the bottom there, it says, paste this sheet on cardboard to keep it from tearing. So obviously that was never done. So that's the reason why it's, it was included here with this game. So there's that, just thought that was pretty cool. Wanted to share that with you guys. So next up, I've just got a few pickups. Uh, I was at a, it wasn't like, like a thrift shop, I guess you'd call it, a consignment shop. Uh, they had a little, uh, a little, area where they had cards and um typically i've been in there i've been in this place before and they don't usually have anything great but um every once in a while i stop in there and so um i saw this and i thought it just looked really awesome and uh it's a 1997 um skybox ex cut above fred mcgriff card and i just Thought it was really cool looking it, it definitely caught my eye so uh they had a five dollar sticker tag on it and um i looked it up and they were selling like 40 bucks or more on ebay so i thought what the heck i might as well grab this love the die cut and a saw blade and a nice shine to it so yeah that's uh the cut above fred mcgriff that i picked up at the consignment shop and i got a few slabs here um most notably this very beautiful 1965 tops Steve Carlton rookie card. Picked this up. 
um, just probably one of the nicer sixes you'll see very nicely centered no print marks or print dots or anything like that very nice the colors look great um, the corners are pretty good and even the back you don't get a you don't have any any real chipping or um, edge wear or anything like that so a um, little bit off center there on the back but otherwise not not bad at all um, just a very beautiful card this is my 63rd PSA graded Hall of Fame rookie card for the uh, post-war Hall of Fame rookie card set registry and so I was very happy to pick that one up also picked up a 1999 Bowman Chrome CC Sabathia uh, very beautiful card I expect Sabathia will be in the Hall of Fame here within the next 10 years or so um, just love the um, these old Bowman cards with the etching they really um, made nice cards you know back then in the 90s they don't they don't put as much detail into these cards now I don't think but that's my opinion and so I also grabbed this card it's a 20 uh, 2001 tops Ichiro Suzuki rookie card as you see there it's a it's a it's a five and normally I wouldn't be um, interested in purchasing a mid-grade card like this but um this is kind of like a case of buy the card and not the grade because uh first first off i paid uh what i paid for this was you know less than fifty dollars which you know raw cards are selling for you know fifty dollars or so but um you know there's really not a lot wrong with this card there's a little there's a little white speck down here on the bottom but otherwise It's really not that bad and there's a little white spot up here but I mean I don't know why it's a five here's the back back looks good too so yeah I mean whatever it's a five it's a five I paid raw price for it it's slabbed and you know at some point I'll probably upgrade but for now hey what the heck and that's all I got guys um, Friday hope everyone has a great weekend and bye for now.